2022. This one here, I gotta go replace a uh, central air system, upgrade it. It's a two and a half ton uh, central air on the second floor. It's an old Goodman and it's leaking. It's an R22 unit. Last year, I changed this uh, first floor unit and now I'm gonna change the uh, second floor unit. I'm gonna reuse the line set, blow out the line set and reuse it. Um, that's my game plan anyway. Gonna put a new condenser, new air handler up in the attic. And today's only gonna be like 65, so it's a good, good day to work up in the attic. It's not too crazy hot. You got a big fan up there anyway, that's on a temperature sensor. So I might even just turn that sensor down so that fan runs more. But either way, uh, we're gonna go, there's no plywood up there. So we're gonna rip and tear that thing out, put some plywood down. So I can move around up there without falling through the ceiling. And uh, the new air handle is 17 wide, the old one's 14. So I gotta do some modifications on the ductwork. We'll see what we do with that, but I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. We got a condensate pump up there, it's draining into a condensate pump and then pumping out. I might just run um, run a gravity line down and out for that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll try to get you some shots as I go along and take one step at a time here. I got a delivery coming about nine, so I got a couple hours to rip and tear it. I gotta take the unit all apart to get it up in the attic anyway. So I gotta switch the coil around. I believe the coil's in the wrong direction. Go ahead and for what I have. I'm gonna have to extend the uh I gotta put a filter up in the attic. And all the returns tie in and up in the attic and the filters in the attic, so we'll uh we'll get you some shots as I go, hopefully. I left the dog home. Can I do it all in one day? I'm not sure. Probably not. It might be like a day and a half job. Well, we'll get you some shots as we go and see if we can put a little video together for you. If I'm going to do these replacements, it's got to be cool out. I'm not up there in crazy hot temperatures. Anyway, I'll get you some shots. Here's the one that's coming out right here. This is, should be the one. That should be it. Alright, that should be good now. I should be able to plug it in. And start the pumping action. thing and cut this thing loose. Let it loose, Mama. I'm going to change this. This air handle is going to come out. There's the return and there's the supply. Pumps here. Looks like that's the way I'm going to redo it. So I'm probably going to leave that pan that's the air in that plywood platform and I'm just gonna put the other air handler right on there. Oh, they got a drain going out there. I don't know where that goes but there was a drain there. 
I don't know why they got the pump. It's kind of it's kind of questionable the way this thing's ran. It's a lot of it's a long attic. I'm probably just gonna put the pump right back and just leave it the way it was. Uh, backup drain there going out. I don't know. There's like two different level roofs here. I'm just going to put it back the way it was. I did put plywood down so I could walk in here. I did build that little platform there with, with four legs. So I come up, go on that platform, and then get down here to this plywood where you could step. Before, there was, um, there was no plywood up here. So I built that little platform. It's resting on a duck over there. I think got four legs here. And it's pretty stable. I screwed the legs in. I screwed it into the, the plywood on the bottom I put. So, I'm making it a thousand times better. So, we're just going to get the ear handler up here and tie it in. I'll probably put some S-lock on this here and screw it in. i got to pull the, pull the um, coil and the fan out so I can make it light. Get it up here to decide on what I'm going to do with this. <clears throat> Much better with the platform. I told the guy I would do that. See, I took the fan out of the air handle, stripping it all down. I'm going to take this coil out. So I can carry it up there and it's not going to be fighting me. I'm gonna have to put the other rails in. I gotta put the other rails on this side because I gotta flip this coil. But it comes with rails. It comes with holes to put them in. I gotta put the other. Uh, I gotta put the other rails in. All right, so I open this up a little bit. I put a little brace on the bottom there to pick it up the the thing, so it's gonna be kind of in the. I did open this up. I'm gonna have to do a little tape job on it, but I got the lip there I could screw on the sides and the top. And then this I cut this top part out. I'm gonna have to put a piece of sheet metal in the top after. I bent the bottom down, I left the side, I'm gonna screw it in the back, and I'm gonna screw it on that flange. And uh, then we'll have to work the top. I did put a piece on the bottom for the filter rack. And I'll have to put an S-lock, drop an S-lock on the top for the filter rack. So when you put the filter in, it's tight. I got the other air handler up here. All apart. Oh, there's my, there's my Sharpie. The only way to get it up here is take it apart. Well, it's going together. This pan's still fine. I'm going to reuse the pan in this platform. Be fine with it. I got the piece. I ended up cutting it, folding it up, putting a S lock and extending it. Put a couple of scab pieces on it. I'm going to tape it up really good and I got to wrap it with some more wrap. The return. <laughs> good thing I put all this wood up here because I'd be killing myself. put a couple of S locks to strengthen that gap so when this thing when this thing pulls in it's gonna be tight I put that piece along the bottom and this this came way down the other one was so I ended up cutting that I cut that piece right out of there this piece and I made a new one that's a better place for the filter then if I put it in here, it's going to interfere with these ducts, so it's better there. I left him three extra filters, so he's got four. I just have to tape it up really good now. I'm going to tape it up really good, then I can put my fan in, my, my uh, coil, and start continue. It's a good thing I built this little shelf. A lot of guys wouldn't do this, you know. 
I spent a little extra, put a little extra money in there for that and make my life easier. He says this has just been replaced, this condensate pump. So we'll tape it up good and uh, continue. Alright, so I got this, I got it tied in upstairs. I got it tied in here. See if it holds. I'll put a vacuum on it. I'll pull a vacuum on it. Should be fine. If there was a leak, you'd see it. You'd see it dropping. That's looking good. I did. Um, I did replace the pad so they're both the same color. That was. Uh, that was a, a, the right size pad, it was just a different color. I'm kind of picky when it comes to shit like that. I like to have everything match. The reason why I didn't change the line set is because it's all inside that blown in insulation shit. It's a flipping disaster. Yeah, this thing's gonna be fine. I just gotta get my vacuum on it, stop pulling a vacuum. You know, if it needed to be changed, I have to change it. But. I'd rather not seeing all that blown in insulation. And same thing with the drain. That's the drain from the pan right there, dumping out there. But they got that condensate thing, probably because they put all that blown in insulation in there. What a flipping mess. I'm gonna leave that condensate thing. It's been working fine for years, so we'll leave it. It's a new pump, he just put it in last year. So. I usually don't do it with a pump like that, but... My holes are here, I got my vacuum thing hooked up. I got a couple of shutoffs to push in the straighter cores, and then I could shut it off after. Two open the valves. That's it, turn it on. Low voltage here and line voltage with the ground. I shut them valves off and open up the refrigerant line. Put the valves there so I don't blow the oil out of my comp out of my vacuum pump. A little tight up here. All I gotta do is run the unit. I did tie all this in and tied the return all in. The return's all done. The filter. I left them extra filters. This thing should run now. Thermal expansion valve in. Put the sensor on the riser there. Put my filter upstairs here so it don't rust. Should run. I'm gonna check the charge. It's gonna be low because they don't put a lot of it in at the factory. 410. I hate fuck I hate fucking this thermostats with a passion. Piece of shit. Gotta run it, let it run for a little while to come up to speed, but it's gonna need it's gonna need gas. Oh, 
He must be fucking around with it inside there. All right, I'm back. Homeowner was over there playing around with the nest thermostat. Playing with it. Anyway, I'm trying to work on the unit. Shutting it off on me. So we got to back up and run. He said it had no power to it. I showed him with the power going to it. Piece of shit flipping nest. If it was me, I'd rip that thing. To rip the thing out of there and use it for a hockey puck. Piece of shit. I don't like nest thermostats. We're gonna set this by subcooling. But it's got a TXV. for a little bit, but you see we're at four here, we're low. We're gonna put some gas in it. 125 on a suction's fine. We're gonna let it run for a little bit before we start adding gas. We don't want to overshoot it. See our sub cooling at 4.4, that's gonna come up. He loves that fucking nest thermostat. He loves that nest thermostat. Well, yeah, it's two and a half ton. That one's a three. Yeah. Huh? I put the uh, same equipment that was in there back. You know? What was in there was it Yeah. That's what this one is. It's actually a three ton coil. Two and a half or three ton coil, but a two and a half ton condenser. Because it's going to be more efficient. Um, you go with a bigger evaporator upstairs, it makes it more efficient than the 13. Because that could be a that could be a two and a half or a three. Some gas and put it in a liquid. We'll give it some how you doing. I wrote the date um, inside here, I wrote the date upstairs. The filters go right in the top like that. I left a screw up on top there, long screw, like two inches. So if you're gonna get the old filter out, just put the screw in there and screw it into the filter and you'll be able to pull it straight out. All right. If not, you gotta get like a screwdriver and jam it. Yeah. But I got like a two, two and a half inch screw. All right. You, you, you take the cover off, shut the unit off, right? Yeah. Just put the screw into the filter and then you can pull it straight out. Right. And then just drop the new one in. That's gonna be so much better than coming out the side. And Actually, there was one in there you didn't even know about. It. There, was, there was two filters or one? Just one. Then there was one on the side. That's the there was two. There was two before. There was one in the vertical, which wasn't really working so well because it didn't have braces on the top and the bottom, so it was bypassing. Yeah. But I put braces, so now it can't bypass. Everything's going through the filter. See that line up there? That PVC line? Yeah. That's the secondary pan. So if you ever see water coming out of there, there's water in the pan. But I put a float switch That's on, right. on this one. The right? there's, there's one on the pump and I put one on the unit like I did downstairs. A vertical float so If there's water that backs up, it will shut it off. And it's tied into that pump. Okay. So it ties into the pump. You got, you got a safety switch on the unit. You got a safety switch on the pump. And then you got that is the overflow pan. So when the pump works, is this where the water comes out? No, well, I don't know where that where that pump goes. But you know, to change all this 
all these refrigerant lines, we'd have to take all that blown in insulation out of there. That's a pain in the ass. You know that blown in insulation? All that blown, it's yeah, all yeah. blown in insulation up there. Right. That's that's what this stuff's all covered with blown in but, insulation. But you did the vacuum tank the doctor? Yeah. It pulled down like uh, 25 microns. Well, it was great. I did the pressure test and I did that also. Alright, I'm gonna pull a little bit more, man. We're almost there. The change of line set's gonna cost, would have cost you another couple of grand. You know? The change of line set, you didn't need it. I'm trying to save you money. I mean, it's, it's, it's bad enough, uh, the price of it now, you know, you start changing line sets. The line set was easy, like this first floor one was right here, right. I would have did it. Like, that's, you know, you're going to take all that blown in insulation out of the way, and that's a flipping job and a half. Take you half a day just to move that shit, and then put it all back. Hey, now, promise it's the back here. Yeah, hold the back, hold the pressure test, and then, and then it pull a good vacuum. If it had a leak, it wouldn't have pulled a good vacuum. You wouldn't have used maybe 2,000 microns, you won't be able to pull a good vacuum. I pulled like down to 25. That was super. Anything over 500 is good. I went to 25, so that's even way past 500. Because the lower the, lower the, the uh, microns, the better the vacuum. I was at 25. All right, we're good here. See our subcooling at 10? Can you see it? Our TXV is regulating the, the superheat for 12, because it's got a TXV. Uh, 123 on a suction, that's great. And our, our sub cooling's right around 10, so that's perfectly charged right there. Let me shut this off. Put the rest in there and we're done. I just gotta pick up my stuff upstairs and pick up all the shit in the. Uh, The vacuum I have is, is um, for oil burners for soot. I don't think you want it upstairs on your rug. Your wife don't have a vacuum? Pick it up, and now you bring the vacuum upstairs, I'll, I'll vacuum it, okay? flipping line set it's all inside that blown in insulation shit would have been a job and a half to change it I'm trying to save the guy money more and above the line set line set's fine I got here at 6, 6.45, so it's almost 12 hours. At least I got it done. What a flipping shit show. Well, pack up my tools in the morning. That was a hard one. Second floor, you know, up in the second floor attic. 